Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Mario Kart Wii Custom Tracks. Today, we're going to be continuing on the custom tracks, of course, and by popular request, I'm going to be playing with Blaziken. It was it came down between Blaziken and Captain Falcon as the vote, and Blaziken outbeat Captain Falcon. So, for those of you who voted for Captain Falcon, don't worry, because I will be playing with him in the next episode, which you guys could possibly get today if you leave a like. So, if you guys want to see the next episode today, then leave a like, and I will gladly go ahead and post it if it reaches the likes that I have in mind but anyways in order to play as Blaziken we have to use Funky Kong and it does I don't think it matters necessarily what bike you use uh, the guy who created this mini pack super ace 20 was kind enough to make like a little note uh, in the thing and it says exactly which character you have to use with what bike combination in order to play as that character so he never spe specified any bike combination for Blaziken so I'm assuming it's just gonna be Funky Kong with the flame runner and then that's it today uh, We're gonna be playing through the Wiggler Cup last time. We did the Hammer Bros Cup very nice cup I have to say for some reason it's not registering my ranks anymore Maybe it's because I'm getting terrible ranks. I mean, I think for this one. I got a three-star rank I don't know one of these two. I played with Daisy. I don't remember which one I, I think it was this one Yeah, cuz this one was Toadette and then this one was Sonic and this one is going to be Blaze again. So GBA, Ribbon Road. You know what? Let's just go ahead and get into it. Ooh, Luigi's Mansion for the DS. Yo, that's one of my favorite tracks. I like I like the track. Somebody actually left a comment saying that all of the Mario Kart 7 tracks are located in this game. Or are in this game. And so are all of the DS Mario Kart tracks are in this game. And I, I could believe it, I guess. Because, I mean, we've played through so many DS tracks as it is so far. And uh, we've played through several Mario Kart 7 tracks, and I actually played through one yesterday. I think it was like, um, I don't remember the name of it. It was a Daisy track for sure. Uh, it's it's a Mario Kart 7 track. It wasn't in the custom tracks, but it's like if you play an original track in the game, you can actually play is uh, you can play that track. But anyways, look at this Blaziken. So uh, I don't know. What do you guys think? How cool does he look? Does he even look cool or not? I mean, I personally like the way he looks. Like I said, he doesn't look like super amazing, but he still looks great. You can identify him as Blazik, and I know there's going to be a couple people out there like, bro, that doesn't even look anything like Blazik. Uh, and I guess, I guess you know, it's your opinion to each their own. I think it's still pretty cool. He sounds like Funky Kong. Again, I explained that in the last episode. They couldn't really change the voices from, uh, you know, the original sounds to the these sounds. I mean, what kind of sounds would Blazik even make, like straight up? I don't even think he would make any sounds when he's riding a bike because there's no there's no sounds for Blaziken with him doing that. Somebody would have to like personally create that and then put it on, which would be pretty crazy. But this is a very nice track. It reminds me of that one track in Mario Kart 8. That new DLC track, it's like a big toy box or something. You're like little carts in it and you have like all kinds of toys and whatnot. That's exactly what it reminds me of. It has a z it's the very same atmosphere, I have to say. But, um... I had a question for you guys. Do you? Oh no! Oh wow! Okay. Whoa, dude, that was awesome. That gave me like a little boost. I would have ended up falling there and screwed myself over. All right, dude. I was looking. I was trying to find myself for a second on the map, and then I realized that I was Funky Kong. I'm like, dang, Funky Kong, you are so far ahead. Where am I? I'm like, oh yeah, that's right. I am Funky Kong. Yeah, he plays just like Funky Kong too. So essentially, it's Funky Kong except with just the skin. That's exactly all it is. Just he's cosplaying as Blaziken today, which is pretty nice. Look at that. Wait, is that? Oh, that's a red shell. I see you. I can outbeat this red shell. Oh! I wonder how fast red shells have to go in order for them to catch up to you. Like, if you had a mushroom, do you think you'd be able to outbeat a red shell? Like, stay ahead of it at all times? I feel like you would. I mean, because they don't look like they go that that fast. But in comparison to like how fast you normally go, yeah, they they can definitely outbeat you. Not Sonic the Hedgehog, though. Just kidding. Sonic is uh, is prone to getting hit by red shells as well, just like every other character. So unfortunately, I'm not really seeing any of the uh, customizable items in the game. I don't know why that is, but it's all good. I, I don't really care about the items. I mean, if anything, I would rather play the game with items turned off, which I know I can, but I'm not going to just because it'll take... I guess some of the fun out of it, like, I'm not gonna lie, even though I complain about items pretty much in every single episode, they're kind of what make the game, the game, you know? Mario Kart isn't Mario Kart without items, but anyways, look at that, wow, we had 12 seconds difference between me and first place, 
Let's see what kind of animations uh, Blaziken does for victories. Oh, look at that. He's just like kicking his hands in the air. Or I guess punching them in the air, throwing them up in the air. It's pretty nice. But yeah, moving on to the next track. It is going to be DS Luigi's Mansion. Very nice. So I was asking a friend of mine about how they actually port these tracks from one game to the other. They said, or he said that some of them are actual ports and then some of them are ports and then at the same time they recreate it. Just a little bit in order for it to look the way they do. Personally, every single DS track that I've played so far in this game looks much better than the original. Not only because the levels aren't super pixelated, but just everything about it, like texture-wise, looks really nice. And I and, th and they made the roads like wide and everything to fit, you know, this game. Um, if that makes any sense. Because if you go back and you play the DS version, you're gonna notice that um, the roads are really narrow in comparison to like this game. That's usually how it is though when you play like any game, uh, and then you play the retro tracks for that. Oh man. Oh, you play the retro tracks for it. I was I was thinking there's gonna be a ramp where I could just take it and glide, but I'm like, hey, this is not Mario Kart 7. Yeah, the last time I played this was on Mario Kart 7. So it's a go-to, I guess, I have to say. People love this track. They added new things to it though. The I mean the trees usually move, but whatever that is is different. Also the music! I don't know if you guys noticed, but the music is different as well. I love this sound. It's it's so good. I think it's Super Mario Galaxy 2. Oh man, speaking of that, as soon as I said that, I just remember that there's going to be a heap of people asking me about that game. I mean, I don't really know what to say, guys, about Super Mario Galaxy 2. Like, I beat the game, and then I thought about it. I want to do the green stars, but dude, some of them are just super hard to do. I know I have to suck it up one day and do it, but I'm kind of waiting until, you know, I'm completely out of content. Which, at least, you know, in the foreseeable future, I don't think I'll run out of content. But once I do, I will probably end up playing through Super Mario Galaxy 2 again. The only reason I actually stopped it too was because I took that break and then I just lost interest in playing the game. And then a lot of people really weren't interested in watching the LP either. So, I was like, then there's no point in playing the game. But then still, there are, you know, those, those very few people who still wanted to watch the LP. So, I mean, eventually I'll end up going back and finishing all the green stars. Um, there's like, I don't know, 120 green stars in that game, and I still haven't even collected any of them. Plus, I still have a lot of the, uh, the orbit stars to collect, like, uh, the prankster comments and all those other ones to collect. But, wow, this is the third lap already, and I feel like I'm playing pretty decently, and, like, yet these computers are still on my tail. It's kind of crazy. Who did I hit? I hit someone with something, apparently. That's why Blaziken's all happy and cheery about something. All right. The only thing that I honestly don't like about this uh, Blaziken is is how he's super shiny. It's like he's kind of Super Saiyan, but without the the what do they call it? Shishish, the nice yellow energy surrounding him. I used to call it Shishish when I was a kid because that's the sound it makes. I was literally like five, and that's every single time I I heard it or pretended to play Dragon Ball Z, I used to call it that. But yeah. Um, that's the only thing I don't like about the Blaze again, but he's very nice. Um, if I had to choose between the three that I've currently played so far, Captain Falcon, Blaze again, and uh, Sonic, definitely, I want to say Sonic is the best because he's the most simple one. Plus, he looks super perfect. Captain Falcon is hands down the second, and then Blaze again, I guess, is third. I'm pretty sure the other characters are going to look nicer too. Wait, who is that? We have a couple characters as well that I haven't paid any attention to. One and two. All right. Very nice. Starting off this uh, this track with burning out. Okay, I want to see who that is. I think that's a different colored Yoshi. Maybe the one that's right there in front of me. Who, no, that's Pac-Man. Yo, your boy Pac-Man's in this game. I didn't even realize that. Okay, and then you have a dark Luigi, I think. Who else do we got? Um, let's see. Who is that right there? That's Sonic, I think, in a cart. That's what it seems like. And then... Oh! Oh, no, that's it. Just Peach and the other guys. Okay, I'm gonna use this. Wow, totally the perfect time to use that thing, dude. I was gonna crash into the wall. That always happens to me for whatever reasons. Also, dude, there is Thwomp. You could literally play as Thwomp in this game. You could play as Thwomp, you could play as Lakitu. Whoa, that was not what I intended to do. I didn't expect for that to happen. Oh! Okay. Dude, they love, they love throwing these sharp turns at me. 
your favorite thing. Wow, this is a really nice level. It reminds me of the first level in Hyrule Warriors. It's just like huge castle grounds. This is awesome. I wonder if castles back in the day used to look like this. Like used to be huge just like this. I mean, isn't it kind of crazy to think about like the time and, and world that we live in today? It's like we came into this world when everything was already built for us. I mean, sure they're still building and whatnot, but when you like imagine cities and all that good stuff, it's like those major parts of, you know, the world that we know today were already there when we came into existence. Meaning that people literally lived their lives to make the world a better place for us. That's, that's kind of sad, you know? It's, it, it's, it, I always think about that whenever I am driving, especially like on those like country roads. It's like, man, people actually built these roads. Like they built and built and built. And you can imagine because these things are like miles and miles long. Like imagine something that's like a like a 60 mile road, for example. And those are like just smaller ones that that I'm just you know giving an example of. You look at a 60 mile road like that, and you're like, wow. Somebody built this. Like, not just one person, obviously. Maybe, like, a, a group of people did. But still, it's kind of crazy to think that, you know, they did it, and then they probably didn't use it as much as, like, how many people are using it now. But, yeah, I guess, you know, they left something behind for us. Everybody's got to leave something behind, you know, as they go. Anyways, oh, final lap, and I'm doing pretty good. I don't think I did bad at all in this cup, so we may in fact have a good chance at getting a decent star. But uh, going back to my question, I wanted to ask you guys a long time ago, but I completely forgot. Oh, look at those wolves, uh, wolves on the walls. Oh man. Okay, this way. Uh, would you guys like to see some Mario Kart Wii custom tracks online? Um, I was thinking about doing them, and I think they'll be fun. I'm not really sure how many people play. Come on, game. You already gave me one. I don't need a second one. Please, I can't handle this. Treat our guests nicely. Okay, of course that would happen. At least Rosalina burnt out as well. Because then that would have sucked. She would have been able to pass me. All right. Ooh, just come on, go. Ah, dude, they're they're just sending out these items like it's candy, man. You guys need to chillax with these items. Where did I get triple bananas again? All right, that's fine. And we did it. We made it! We beat the level! Once again, first place, pretty exciting. Blaziken's having a great time. Why is he so shiny? Or I guess glowy, I don't know. He's like a, he's literally like a, fl uh, a flashlight. He's just so freaking shiny. He glows in the dark, literally. Compare that to his bike, it's like crazy. But yeah, the last and final track of this cup is going to be Castle of Darkness. Wow, two castle tracks in one cup. Pretty exciting. Usually these castle levels are just very, uh, they're very confusing in my opinion because we played two of them so far. They, I don't think they had castle in the title, but they're very similar to at least what this looks like it could be. Yep, just a very big track. It'll, it'll probably be very, very confusing. I don't know. Maybe if this will be just one long lap, I'm not sure, but we'll find out together. Let's see what it's like. Oh, dude, dude, what the heck, man? That's like what their torture area. That's where they torture their people. You, you gotta put Sonic down there. Okay, Blaze the King, you're starting to look a little weird. You're starting to disappear on us, man. I don't know if that's a good thing. Whoa. Okay. Whoa, dude. All right. Okay. Wow. This is the slow path. Don't want to go there again. Avoid that part. Okay. Uh oh. Oh, dude. Okay, dude, this is crazy, man. I can't even play this. It's like a little too fast for me. It's like 200 CCs in this game. Duh. Man, I love the music for this. It's so nice. All right, let me see what I can get. I wonder if they put any like Zelda soundtracks for this game. That would be pretty exciting if they did. Uh, wait, what? Wait, where am I going? Oh, I thought I took a different path in comparison to those guys. I was gonna say that sucks, but hey. For the first time ever, man! I'm not the one being hit by the blue shell. How exciting is that? That deserves a little celebration. Everybody have a banana. Just like Blaziken's having like three bananas right now. Alright. So that is the first lap. So apparently, no, it's just one it's just one lap. Like, I mean it's just the laps are all the same, rather. Like they don't change. Unless there's something in the tracks that will change eventually. Because they did have that for a couple of the the levels that we played. Also, I'm going to take this side again. 
Look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You you do your thing, man. And we're not going to go that way again. Oh, dude, they got cells in there and everything. I wonder what's that for. Who, who that that's for specifically. Oh, man. Okay. Castle Grounds, you know, this could even be from a game. I just don't know. If I'm playing anything from a game, please let me know. I just, I, I don't really know my games, man. That could be it. Because I played through a couple levels where people told me, hey, this is actually from this. I'm like, oh, I got you. I get it. All right. Wow. How am I in fourth place? I didn't, I'm not doing that bad. All right, Peach, come back here. It's crazy. It's like the computers pass me so easily, but then I do the same thing to them. I pass them so easily. All right. Oh, wow. All right. I was going to try to get a drift off of her and then hit her when she wheelied, but... Oh, she's the one apparently trying to get the drifts off of me. Get out of the way, woman. We don't got no time for this. I'm a Pokemon. I'm going to just flamethrower you. All right. Oh, man. Uh, speaking of Pokemon, I think uh, the only... Oh, come on, man. Of course I would fall in there. How can Peach push me off? Dude, she's a lightweight or she's a medium weight character. There's no way she has the strength to physically push me like that. Dude, don't you dare. I know what you're trying to do, man. Whoever had that star. What a sadistic person. It was Daisy again. All right, Daisy, come here, woman. Ooh. That's what you get, sucker. That's what you get for trying to attack me. All right. I, 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 I don't think that's Mega Evolved. I wanted to say, oh, come on. Of course this is what happened on the final lap. Dude, I'm just sucking right now so bad. It's because I know it's the final lap. And that's why I'm not doing so well. All right. Let's keep going. Keep going. Oh, no, no, no. Let me with the star. Somebody's trying to hit me with the star. Oh, yes. Dude, that is so perfect. I've never actually seen a computer launch one of these. All right. Perfect. Woohoo! Wait, did I get first? Oh, no! No, no, no! Dude, come on! Come on! Come on. At least get fourth. Fourth is good. Wait, actually, I could probably still do better than that. Yes, I got triples. Come on, this is it, 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 this is it. Get out of the way, get out of the way. Oh, yes, third place, wow. I was going to settle for fourth, but I got a third place, which is better than fourth. And they each beat me by one second, which is all good. Wow, 55 points. Yeah, you celebrate, Blaziken. You have every right to celebrate, dude. You're going back home with uh, a nice Mario Kart trophy. Show to your Pokemon squad and whatnot. All right, let's see what we got. We got a B, C, we got a C. Okay, so we got, we got the same rank we did last time. It's probably because of that last track. I kept falling and whatnot. But anyways, that is going to be it, guys, for this episode. Thank you all so much for watching. Drop a like if you enjoyed. Again, if the video reaches a certain amount of likes that I have in mind, it's not that many. But if it does, then I'll upload the next episode today. And then we'll, we'll probably do like goals. And then if we do the like goals... If we do reach like goals, I mean, in every episode, then we could start posting two of these a day because I'm having a lot of fun with them. Plus, I kind of want to get this entire thing out of the way now so then I can focus on doing other things as well. Anyways, thank you for watching. Next time we're playing with Captain Falcon and then you guys can decide uh, who I want to play as or who I can play as in the next episode following the next episode. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys then. Peace.